कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे फूफे की गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन कमिंग आई यू विद एन इमरजेंसी वीडियो ओके हाय जो किस हाय जो वाइज किस राइट नाउ वी गार अ लॉट ऑफ न्यूज़ टू गो ओवर अबाउट जीटीएस सिक्स वी गार द फ्लोरिडा जोकर कमिंग आउट एस वेल एंड ही इज़ नो लॉन्गर स्विंग रॉकस्टार गेम्स ओके एंड टेक टू हैव रिलीज न्यू इनफॉरमेशन अबाउट द रिलीज़ डेट Rockstar remains silent, but we already know quite a bit about GTA 6. In March 2023, we've got info. Dog, other than the Lucia Bruna, what do we know though? Let's be real. Info from an insider about revolutionary technology to be used in this installment. But that's not the only thing we're going to cover in today's video. So let's get straight into it. The most revolutionary aspect is expected to be the water physics system, which you could see in a tweet that has now been deleted. It is a technology that has never before been used in the video game industry, likely due to the need for players to have advanced hardware. Nvidia had already experimented with WaveWorks 1.0 and 2.0, but the balance between realism and performance was never good enough. Besides its man for a technology like this, bro, we would need a PlayStation 20 though. Stunning appearance and physics. It is also expected to pave the way for players to engage in water sports, such as surfing. However, since this technology has not been used before, there is a certain risk. As the insider reports, yeah. Rockstar Games, considering the colossal revenue GTA Online has brought in since 2013, decided to. It, it brought in so much money. That these seconds are like okay, well, we're gonna. And if you were watching the live stream, we did the live stream of Take Two the other day, right? And if you were watching, these seconds were talking about GTA Plus. They were talking about ads in game for the casual audience. You are not a casual gamer, okay? Like in their eyes, you're a toxic gamer. I'm myself included. We're Bruh. toxic. We're toxic gamers. The fact that we're talking about like a, a microtransaction bad, they consider us toxic gamers. So they were talking about like the ads as well, man. They're Suckers out there buying like these uh, shark cards. So I mean, uh, get ready, man. In five years, ten years from now, get ready for seeing ads in the game. Take guys. this step, bearing in mind any potential issues. But that's not all. Now, on a Reddit post in a channel oh, focusing dang. on GTA 6, one of the users pointed out that Rockstar has filed several quite interesting patents related to the technology being implemented into GTA 6, oh, and wow. they all rely on artificial intelligence. I discussed one of them in my previous video. It focuses yeah. on the technology of creating interiors. In in a procedural way. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. Man, yeah, we also did the video on this one. Man, this is looking absolutely amazing though. Like, I, I have, I, I'm not sure if we're gonna have that deep of like, uh, apartment or home, home customization. If we do, then cool, right? But like, I don't know, man, because right now there are rumors around, uh, rumors around that PlayStation 5 will be 30 FPS, GTA 6 will be 30 FPS on the normal PS5, and we're hearing that we're gonna be getting PlayStation 5 Pro by the end of this year. And on that, it's probably gonna be 60 FPS. <laughs> I don't know, man. Seen it yet. However, Reddit users were particularly interested in two variables. One regarding NPC behavior. We must stay focused, my brothers. Which may suggest that these will be much smarter and more natural in terms of their behavior. Advanced AI controlling pedestrians in GTA 6 sounds like a pretty good idea that could take the whole series to an even higher level. It sounds like it is going to be a game changer, literally. It's like they've infused a new level of life into the NPCs, making them more than just background props. Imagine walking down a rainy street in the game and you see an NPC scrambling to open their umbrella. That's the level of detail we're talking about. These Yo, what? I, I was reading a comment, right? Like, what if, like, because we're, we know that this game is gonna have, like, in-game TikTok, right? Bruh. It's gonna have in-game social media. Yo, what if, like, you do some crazy in the game and the NPCs are, like, recording your ass, uh, doing something and putting you on social media and then you find out that they put your ass on the, the social media? <laughs> You know what I mean? Yo, that would be crazy, but I think that something like that, you would definitely need like PlayStation 40 for that to work, you know what I mean? These NPCs aren't just following a preset script. Their actions, moods, and even animations are generated by AI, making yeah. each encounter unique. For instance, if an NPC is caught in the rain, they might have different reactions. Some might run for cover, others might just stroll happily. It's not just a one-size-fits-all animation, but a range of responses that make the game world feel incredibly real. And it oh, gets huh? better. If an NPC oh, wow. is drunk, they won't just stagger around in a loop. The AI might decide how they behave, slurring words, randomly sitting down, or even trying to interact with you or other NPCs. I, I remember like with the Matrix game, the Sega's actually put like AI with the with the NPCs and that was actually cool, but do I see that happening? Probably not. Like we're, we're for that we would need like PlayStation 70, let's Bruh. be real. And we're gonna dive into the Florida Joker. We're gonna dive into what like Take Two said and why are people saying exactly it's getting delayed. Lol. We're gonna get into it. Stick around for that guys. In unpredictable 
multiple ways. Now, consider you're doing something outlandish in the game, like driving a car down a flight of stairs. In older games, NPCs might just run away or stand frozen, but in GTA 6, they might pull out their phones to record you, react in shock, yeah, yeah, yeah. or even cheer you on. The range of potential responses adds a layer of unpredictability and excitement to every action you take in the game. What they also mentioned is how these NPCs are constructed. They're made up of various components, like a torso, arms, legs, which can be mixed and matched to create diverse appearances. This system I truly hope that we have like a lot of NPCs in the game on especially like the sidewalks, the footpaths, right? Like I, I hope we have a lot. I, I want this game to be feeling alive, okay? I want this game to feeling alive, a bit like the way we saw that in the trailer. I don't want this to turning out like the Cyberpunk 2077, where in the trailers there were so many NPCs, and in the actual game, you got nothing, nada. But I also, this is the opposite argument, right? I also do feel like that they're not gonna have that many cars on the... Uh, on the on the road the reason being because like that's gonna affect gameplay right because if, you, if they they up the density of the, the cars like you know it's not gonna be fun to drive around i hope they have the options to increase the the population density and also vehicle density i i know i have a talk about this specifically like in previous videos as well and but i truly want that though uh, and I, I hope that by default we have like okay amount of cars on the roads, but we got a lot of NPCs on the sidewalks. So the game feels alive. I mean, that's when it's gonna truly feel immersive. Like good story, uh, good graphics, gameplay. I think Rockstar got that. They are gonna nail it, nail it 110%. But they really, this time they really gotta nail the the immersion and the. Uh, the, the, the crowd in the game right because if the game is feeling alive then this is gonna take up a notch because there is no game out right now gta 5 is uh, as brilliant as it might be or as trash as it might be in, be, in your opinion GTA 5 has done a lot of good things, but let's be real, GTA 5 doesn't feel that alive, though. Uh, you know what I mean in terms of NPCs on the sidewalk. Extends to their clothing and accessories, tagged with descriptors like casual, business, or sporty, allowing for a wide array of character styles suited for different game settings. The patent uh -huh. outlines a system where each piece of clothing, be it a jacket or a disguise like a mask, is tagged with descriptors such as additional top garment. These aren't just labels, they influence the game in real time. For example, in a chilly setting, an NPC donning a jacket might see their health decline more slowly, thanks to the added warmth. This level of detail extends- <laughs> Yo, for that you would need like PlayStation 100, dog. Like, like, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, know what I'm saying? But now, honestly, do you guys want something like this where, you know, you go in a warm area and you're losing your health? Like, bruh. Like, imagine, right? You are, what What are the odds that you are in a bat, bat, uh, battle in the game, right? Battle? Why am I, so, it sounds kind of weird me saying battle, battle, battle. Like, what? But, like, let's say you, you are under attack, right? Like, you got your guns out there, you're firing bullets, and all of a sudden, like, uh, you know, you are in a location where it's cold or hot and you're losing losing health Bruh. because of it you are not getting hit but you are losing health because of that i don't know man i don't i don't know about that one to efficiency yeah, too if an npc is wearing a jacket the game might opt to render only the visible parts of the shirt underneath to save on processing power ensuring the game runs smoother without compromising on visual detail even yeah. more fast see what i was saying guys we don't have playstation 100 so like uh, we gotta save the <laughs> save the gpu power man. is how this metadata layer influences the game world dynamically for example a rundown neighborhood can gradually transform as you progress in the game with the oh, appearance of npcs awesome. and surroundings changing to reflect improvement or decay depending on the player's actions picture an old run-down part of town gradually transforming we must stay focused my brothers we, we must, must stay focused brothers we must stay focused. as you progress in the game with old and worn down tagged objects being replaced Damn. by those tagged new and hipster reflecting real world gentrification this tagging to be honest though like i truly am having doubts like yo I, I truly do believe that the Lucia Bunda is gonna be very, very hard to process on PlayStation 5, though. Uh, quite frankly, I think, like, when you're playing as Lucia, you might, your game might be running at, like, 15 FPS, because we're hearing it's gonna be 30 FPS on the normal PS5. Bruh. 
So, like, it might be, like, 15 FPS when you get to play with Lucia, because the Bruna is gonna, like, I don't think we have that technology to process, guys, like... ...system also plays a crucial role in procedurally generating characters and environments. Need a crowd for a movie theater scene? The game can automatically populate it with characters dressed appropriately... Uh, for two people that are literally taking it for real, I'm just a jokey, okay? I'm just a jokey, you know, okay? ...for a casual movie outing, adjusting even for the genre of the movie playing. This ensures that every scene, every background character feels right at home in the game's setting, and this system oh, wow. isn't static. Developers oh, wow. can add new tags as needed, allowing for a dynamic and ever-evolving game world. An NPC's appearance and behavior can be tailored on the fly, ensuring they always fit the scene, whether it's a high-end event or a street-side food stall. Additionally, players have noted- Man, I deadass wanna see like big-ass planes in this game. I wanna see like 747 Jumbo. I, in fact, we had, but we also had like a Jumbo Jet, but that was only for like one mission in GTA 5 single player. I wanna see that crap in, in, in actual uh, GTA 6 online in the normal mode as well and i also want to see like mid-sized planes like Bruh. we have mid-sized planes in gta 5 but you cannot fly them they're like sitting on the airport you know what the ones that i'm talking about right like the small private jets you can fly but then there's like uh commercial mid-sized planes that you cannot and you also have like seven for seven that one you can fly but i want to see like a lot of variety in planes and i hope like when you fly you go fast because you go so slow in gta 5 uh even in the hydra jet even in like all the the military and fighter jets you go so slow and i get it why because like <laughs> it's on playstation 4 i mean we got the playstation 5 version but that's still uh original uh playstation it's a it's a it's an upgrade from the original ps3 version right because this game Came out on PlayStation 3! Oh, shit. A lot of people forget! Yeah! This game came out on PlayStation 3, guys! Uh, and I get it, it's because of the memory, the faster you go, the render, you know, you cannot render stuff faster, so I hope they, they fix that crap. ...noticed a patent related to navigation and moving around the map. As has long been rumored, the GTA 6 map is supposed to be huge, and as a result, Jeez. all districts or estates are expected Jeez. to differ significantly from each other. It seems Jeez. that the company has bigger plans for this and wants to make something powerful out of it. At least that's what fans claim based yeah. on the filed patents. What will it really be like? Mm. We'll find out in about a year. However, okay. what's interesting... And in speaking of that, guys, I guess it is time we talk about it, okay? Uh, first of all, okay, Florida Joker. And we'll get then back to this, but I but I think right now it's a perfect time because right now a lot of people believe that the game is getting delayed. But first of all, Florida Joker no longer wishes to sue Rockstar Games <laughs> and claims he makes GTA 6 relevant. Bruh. Play this. GTA, Roll it. GTA, GTA, Rockstar, take two. We gotta talk. We gotta we talk. Gotta talk. Mm. I'm not suing y'all no more. I'm not suing y'all. But y'all still out your goddamn nuggets. It's been two whole months. Two months. Two months. Y'all still haven't reached out to me. Still haven't DM me. Let's, let's do what's right. Show me like 50,000, 100,000. Let me voice the character. Let me go to the meet and greets. Let me go when the game's released, sign, take pictures with fans. Come on, man. We made worldwide news. Every blog, every news outlet covered me on the game they already knew who i am trust me stop the cap rockstar we gotta talk I'm yeah gta we gotta talk okay let's get down to this one okay so well holy smoke is it ain't no jokers right so a lot of people are believing that gta 6 is getting delayed oh, shit. why is that a couple of days ago, Rockstar Take Two or Take Two Investor Call happened, right? We did a live stream on it, and during the stream, yeah, they hinted at the fact that GTA 6 is still on track. But then later on, they were like, uh, "Well, we're gonna release it when it's kind of perfect." Investors got big sus, right? And guess what? Their stock went down as well. Check this out. So their stock went down. Like, let's say you see that that jump. Why is that? Because investors are kind of suspect about their release frame. Then. Uh, uh, like time frame release time frame for GTA 6 but then worth to notice it says calendar not fiscal so on this one you can see that Rockstar Games GTA 6 it's coming out in calendar 2025 oh, shit. previously they said fiscal and for one game that is above it says fiscal some of you are probably and I've seen the response a lot of people are saying that's cap um, uh, this is fake uh, so I you know what I went over on their official website this is take two earnings official website this is not fake guys and uh, this is real they got their names written on it they got their emails they got their phone numbers it is it, it is wild okay it is uh, crazy uh, and on this one you, you got their earning reports uh, obviously we don't care about it this is for the shareholders and whatnot and you got Rockstar Games GTA Online the chop shop that's what they talk about and underneath this is where yeah guys this is where the 
to talk about. Okay, so check this out. Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto Sheik, okay? PS5, Series X, Series X, so once again, not coming from for PC, Bruh. at least day one, and surely not coming on the PS4 uh, and Xbox One. And here in the release date section, this is where they say calendar 2025. Oh, oh, so shit. this does not mean the game is getting delayed because let's be real, they officially never said it's coming out like on that date, but during their earnings call, they did say fiscal 2025. That's when they're gonna make most amount of the money, most amount of money, but they never said GTSX, guys. They never said, but they alluded, and that's truly what they meant that the game is coming out early 2025 in the fiscal year because that's when fiscal year 2025 ends on before April 2025. So, suckers were believing that this was supposed to come out early 2025, but right now. That it looks like that's not the case though, guys. Bruh. It is it is looking like it's not the case. So calendar 2025. It can happen on January, in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, or even December. So that's where we at. I wanna know your thoughts on it, guys. Uh, recently we had a massive gameplay leak that went down as well for GTA 6. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there.